much. I can't, yeah, wiggle. I, I can't wiggle out. I hate Can't wiggle out of this one. No way. Personally. <laughs> can't wiggle out of this match either. Gonna be a good one. It's gonna be Slaps versus Lightning Cam. By the way, these uh, pools are stacked, by the way. Oh, yeah. Ultra <laughs> stacked. Ultra yeah. stacked. Uh, and, man, talk about people who have definitely been on the rise steadily in Smash 4 and now really feeling those gains, I believe, in Ultimate as well. Cam, of course, under the tutelage of Dakpo, has been really taking some names left and right and hoping to really make a sign for himself. But Slaps, man, he's just been such a monster lately, and man. those buffs to Ike certainly help. Speaking of names left and right, the yeah. name Lightning Cam should not be on the left. Hey, okay, there we go. Hey, My man was that? already there. My <laughs> man was already there. He was like, and Shut Lightning up. Cam is trying to take this name, Slaps, put it on the left, and put some damage on it. He's already up at an 82. Oh but my god. You know, with Ike, it is so easy for that to swing. He does so much damage per hit. As long as he holds on to his stock, he can absolutely make it happen. And Slaps is one of the players with one of the most resolve because he knows that. He plays with basically a heavy with a giant sword. Yeah, yeah. and these characters and this character got hella buff too. So don't even think that there might be a percentage difference between the two right now. But I can end this in an instant. I'm telling you. Oh. Yeah, that Nair to back air, especially at the ledge. Uh uh, I, I'm not. I don't want that. Oh, Nair to so. whatever you want. It's a very different matchup than we'd see in Smash Four. Okay. Honestly, Ike, the way he plays, it's kind of like going to Chipotle. More than anything else, because you're just like you're just like all right, I'll have I'll start off with a nair, and then I can just customize this however I want to afterwards, depending on the situation. I feel like Slaps is going for the guac right now. See, my thoughts are it's kind of like Chipotle because you don't know when it's gonna happen, but there will be an explosion. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh okay. my God, nair to back here. Okay, and oh, what a is you didn't know when it was gonna happen, but there was the explosion. Slaps comes from behind and takes that first stock. Huge. All it, all it takes is just like one little hit from Ike, or one little hit from this character. In general and like immediate like reaction. All right, I mean, you're in disadvantage. And that's the thing, right? I think Diddy Kong's one of those characters that's just really good at winning neutral over and over again. Mm -hmm. And that can be a little bit tricky when you're going against a big character because at the end of the day, high percent is high percent, whether that's 100%, whether that's 150%. And when you combine that with a factor like Rage, it just makes it so that it's absolutely terrifying, especially when you start playing from behind in regards to stock count. And yeah, that, Diddy's a character very consistent. It doesn't ever, he doesn't ever get kills early. But he will consistently set up into them eventually. Well, the problem sense. is, yeah, go ahead. Back here did not kill at 202. Exactly. At 202. He, I'm telling you. He went straight to the corner. What phenomenal DI from Slaps to be living at this crazy percent. He's percents. been doing it for years. Man, up okay, till okay. that'll send you skyrocketing. Yeah, and, and talk about one thing that Diddy Kong does in spades, just winning neutral again and again. Cam, despite taking a long time to take that stock, didn't take any damage in the process, and now all of a sudden, he started to attack on the damage, trying to get back into the lead. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. They, he, absolutely, he took no percent. It didn't really matter that he dropped the first stock, but uh, we'll see, like, this is how these characters are kind of normalized, is Diddy Kong has some really exploitable weaknesses on recovery, but in neutral, it's so hard for Ike to get something started. Okay, so I would like to point out here, I'm starting to notice that Cam, whenever he gets banana, he just goes for grab instead. He's not going for anything like, you know, forward smash or out smash. I'd like to see him implement that more into his game, because this dude was living way too long. Right, at this percent, you want to see banana, I want to see F smash, I want to see up yeah. smash. I want to see down tilt to mix up. And I like that he went for the early barrels there to mix things up so he wasn't just going straight for a monkey flip into the thing that got him killed last time. Yeah, yeah. very smart plays. Yeah, taking the time, that's what I like about that. He just... Oh, oh okay, 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 all right, both okay. guys, I like to know. Both of them at kill percent. Oh. Okay, yeah, there we go, Cam. I'm liking the mix up now. Not, you know, throwing a banana, not going for something safe or anything like that. Just going for the for all us, man. And I like the reaction there. Once you got him tripped on the platform, he has to eventually pick an option, and then he will die to that up smash. If he just stayed on the platform forever, he's, he's losing to a timeout. Yeah, exactly. This can be actually kind of scary for slaps. Like we said, Cam, really good at winning that neutral game over and over again, just getting those little pot shots and then walking away. And look at how much extra credit he's really getting on top of it here. Okay, there we go. Delayed the recovery again. All right, Slash trying to go for something cute there. Not going to be getting it whatsoever. And this is the big problem right now. I feel, okay, gets in there, but not anything falling up. And, and that air dodge was nice, too, to find his way back onto the ground and reset. Oh, oh that could be it. There we go. I'm liking the banana mix-up now a lot better. There we go. At least he's getting down tilt to fair to set up off stage. Slaps has the banana. That air dodge. Oh. Okay. That was a very smart air dodge, mm -hmm. but it was not smart enough for Ike's recovery. It was all that he had, right? His yeah. jump was gone. He had to get that little extra momentum, and Ike doesn't have a lot of aerial mobility there exactly. to take advantage of. So he, he got as close as he could, but 
at mean, the end of the day, you're still piloting extra recovery. Yeah, and what we, what I was noticing the whole time in the matchup is like Cam in the first two stocks anyway. He just seemed to have a problem like killing him, and you know he was like he's playing very he was playing a little bit too safely, and that is legitimately a thing. Where you're playing it too, really is. Where you're playing too safely because rage is still a thing in this game, boys, and you will die hell early as soon as I hit my like my sweet spot back here, or if I hit you with like a smash or anything like that. It's something that uh, he needed to look out for, but he made the proper, proper adaptations. Let's see if Slash can do the same. For me, the biggest thing that Cam did really well in the mid and late game was asserting stage control oh, more yeah. than anything else. And I think that that was something that was critical to Slaps having that extra longevity on the first stock. What we saw from Cam is that he was leveraging the banana peel just to control center stage and make it so that Slaps, more often than not, was put in a disadvantageous position. And so wow. let's see how Slaps is going to mitigate that so far. Back and forth, really, in terms of damage. We're seeing the monkey flip come in, and that might make Slaps think a little bit whenever it comes to just staying in shield in the long game. Oh, man, I cannot tell you enough. I, my man is immediately reacting to everything. I'm talking about Cam and uh, Cam for instance. He actually reacted to a Tomahawk. He's been reacting to everything he's doing and just, like, pressing the proper button for it. Because Diddy Kong has that frame data, doesn't he? Absolutely. He has phenomenal frame data, enough to deal with stuff like Ike Air, oh, oh. which is crazy good. Not quite enough to, to deal that stock with that F smash, but still, like we said before, Cam in a really great position. Going to be getting the grab here as well as the follow-up up air. All right, lucky Town and City having that big old blast on right there because that up here normally would have killed, but not on this version of Town and City. Bigger than Battlefield, actually. Big, biggest stage in general as far as the ceiling height goes anyway. Absolutely. There's a big change that was made in this game. You just get that layout, but it is a nice layout for Slaps. He does control the platforms really well, oh. but man, when you're on the ground, that monkey flips come through. Yeah. I'm going to be really weary if I'm Slaps just kind of looking at that two-character space because that's when Cam's been most keen on going for those monkey flips. So it might be some late-game adaptations from Slaps where he's going to be looking for maybe a preemptive F-tilt to start punishing that. Oh, my goodness. He just crashed Side the barrels. Tail? Yeah. Okay. Not taking it quite yet still. There's a chance. No, it goes early. I don't know if the eruption automatically activated there or if he just gave up. Slash is getting frustrated right now because you're starting to see with the down smash. Oh, no, you're dead? Okay, no, you're not no, dead. I okay. <laughs> Still at the jump. It, it, once Ike loses his jump, he is Krom, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He only has that up B. It's, it's a little bit better than Krom's because he actually has a hitbox on the sword coming up, but still not a good time. And he has to hold all that pressure, too. As soon as he puts out that position, that banana's going to hit shield, and guess what? Like, you can't do anything about this. Man, tough spot, but Slap's managing to wiggle out. Down throw? Ooh, not quite yet. This ceiling is Ike's enemy today. Yeah. Man, just wait till he takes the stock, though. That's when everything's going to change. Wait, if he can take the stock, then let's not forget, my man has been... He might have had trouble killing earlier, but hey, he got radar stock. Have okay, you okay. this character all right, is, All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> My fault right there. I <laughs> uh, cleaned up the wow. stock and... What the eye? Well, he was at the corner of the thing. If you looked at that little red dot right there, that was at the corner right there. Yeah. That's incredible. Dude. Slaps is so good at surviving. Oh. Okay. I mean, he's... It, talk about 10-year challenge. It slaps his DI in the past and right now... Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Nice. Catches if, the landing, but again lifts. If I am slashed right now, I I'm just gonna wait to Cam out because Cam it just seems to be going for like all these like up smashes and forward smashes, even without confirming the banana. He had a hard time, just kind of like you know, he was really wanting to kill right there. What I noticed is Slaps keeps going for this nair. He keeps empty hopping and trying to set up the nair, set up maybe a back air or forward air spacing. And Cam is sitting outside the range of the big sword and just tossing the banana whenever he has to land. That's what I was talking about before. Slaps understanding Cam's tendency at those particular character lengths to go for that monkey flip, decides to roll away and reward it with a grab. But now, needing to find some sort of way to shed the stock. Yeah, I mean, it's not over till it's over, baby. He's at 78%, oh, but wow. if he keeps getting stuck in this corner, as I mean... As long as he can get to even stocks, it's a game. But until Slaps gets there, it's the cam show. Yeah. And you are a special guest member. That's what I'm going to tell you right now. Phrasing. <laughs> Phrasing. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Goodness gracious. You don't like lightning cam be in the star? I, I, uh... All right, pre-patch Barry. Pre-patch Barry. This is what happened to this man right now. Let's, <laughs> let's not even talk about Did it. Did you see that? He walked in, walked out. He shimmied him. We're playing Street Fighter right now, boys. Oh, I am liking this. No. And he hit him with the end of the banana. That was incredible. Just <sighs> dominance by Cam the whole That's time. That's the kind of stuff you yeah. can't 